Breaking news on top of nine at this moment, one of the U.S. cop accused of assaulting an Indian has now been arrested. The Federal Bureau of Investigation or the FBI will now be conducting a probe into the incident where a 57-year-old Indian was assaulted by cops. Now, the Indian citizen, Suresh Bhai Patel, was left paralyzed after the U.S. police used force during interrogation. The victim was paralyzed after being injured when he was forced to the ground by the police, as you can see in this particular video clip that we have got exclusively here on Headlines Today. The United States has expressed condolence to the family of the victim. Well, again, I would say that, um, you know, the Secretary and uh, the State Department certainly express our strong uh, condolences to the family for everything that he has been through. Uh, this is being handled by local authorities, and certainly we would address any concerns through private diplomatic channels. Let's go across to Smita Sharma, who joins us uh, on the phone line with all the latest. Uh, Smita, it seems that now, with these uh, images surfacing, where we can see that uh, the victim has been pinned to the ground with force, and this could have perhaps been the reason why uh, Mr. Suresh Bhai Patel is actually paralyzed. Uh, it became incumbent on the U.S. authorities to take action against those erring cops. Absolutely, because you know this visual which has now been released, uh, it is quite shocking uh, to see the way this 57-year-old uh, man, in fact, has been treated. And he's constantly trying to communicate to the police officers to tell them that he doesn't know English really. He's trying to point out to the number of his son, Chirag, who is an engineer, in fact, in Madison. And remember, Mr. Patel had gone uh, to Atlanta, you know, really to take care of a 17-month-old grandson. So, well, of course, India yesterday responded very strongly when this matter uh, came up. And uh, if you remember, Mr. Saeed Agruddin himself, in fact, uh, said that this issue had been taken up by the, um, the uh, Indian Consulate General, in fact, uh, in uh, Georgia and Atlanta with the local police authorities, uh, of course, uh, being asked to expeditiously look into the matter. Also, one of the of senior officials in the U.S. Embassy here in New Delhi was summoned yesterday. So clearly, you know, uh, now, in fact, Eric Parker, who is one of the officers who did assault uh, Mr. Suresh Patel, he has, of course, um, been charged with third-degree assault. And uh, they're also proposing termination of services. That is something that will happen once the FBI probe into this entire issue is uh, completed because they will also be looking at the uh, angles of racism, if, you know, any racism in, is involved here. Um, was Mr. Patel attacked or assaulted by these officers because of his ethnicity? So these are the issues that are now being looked at by the police. That's right. Uh, Smita, do also tell us uh, how much of the pressure from the Indian establishment has actually forced the U.S. to take this action? See, I think it's a mix, Sanket, because uh, in the U.S., uh, at the end of the day, we do know that they do take their constitutional rights, in fact, uh, very seriously, especially for individuals and citizens. And Chirag, uh, yesterday, through his attorney, you know, really filed this 11-page lawsuit uh, where they said that, you know, this man, he was only walking on the sidewalk. The police initially, the Madison police had said that they had actually received a call from neighbors some woman in the neighborhood uh, who claimed, to, and, and they claimed that uh, she apparently said that, that uh, the suspicious man who was peeping into people's garages, initially uh, police were not uh, releasing the video and images of this incident, but when the videos were released, one can clearly see that there is no such thing. Uh, Mr. Suresh, in fact, after a long flight, was only stretching himself out and walking on the sidewalks is, uh, is you know, the right of all the U.S. citizens out there. So, but of course, uh, from India also, there was tremendous pressure to, uh, you know, ensure that uh, there was a speedy investigation into this case. Remember, also in the U.S. itself, uh, just recently, in fact, last week in Chapel, uh, Chapel Hill, um, there were three Muslim uh, youths who were, in fact, murdered. And that incident also has become a huge thing in the U.S., where people are, in fact, saying that the American uh, administration or the American police officers, they are getting caught up once again into that entire uh, profiling issues, ethnicity and racism divides. So on social media also we see a lot of anger in fact that is pouring in. So everything taken into uh, you, you know, taken okay. into a combination, it looks like the US police decided to act as fast as it could. Okay, Smita Sharma there joining us with all the latest.